briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1965, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Local Union No. 189, Amalgamated Meat Cutters and Butcher Workmen v. Jewel Tea Company, which involved a dispute between Chicago meat retailers and local unions affiliated with the Amalgamated Meat Cutters and Butcher Workmen of North America. At the heart of the dispute was a collective bargaining agreement that limited the operating hours of meat departments. Jewel Tea Company filed a lawsuit seeking to invalidate the provision, arguing that it violated the Sherman Act. The case arose from contract negotiations between 9,000 Chicago meat retailers and seven local union groups over Friday night operations. Jewel Tea Company was among the employers who rejected the union's bargaining position but ultimately signed the agreement under pressure from a strike vote. The unions contended that the issue fell under the jurisdiction of the National Labor Relations Board, while Jewel Tea Company maintained that the union's agreement violated the Sherman Act. The court had to examine whether this provision restricted trade and therefore violated the act. The District Court and Court of Appeals supported the unions, and the Supreme Court ultimately upheld this decision. The court held that if a union and employer agree on when employees must work, this agreement is exempt from antitrust laws because it falls under the jurisdiction of the National Labor Relations Board. They concluded that the collective bargaining agreement's prohibition on night meat market operations was protected by the labor exemption from antitrust laws, and unions could restrict night operations if it was a legitimate concern. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.